Zimbabwe is in a dire situation as it battles to combat the spread of AIDS. A top official of the United Nations AIDS Organization is visiting the country as it faces a shortage of antiretroviral drugs known as ALV drugs that stop the progress of the disease. While the situation is severe for HIV-positive Zimbabweans, it is worse for inmates living with the virus at Harare prison who say they are struggling to get treatment for opportunistic infections. Columbus Mavunga has their story. Officials say Zimbabwe's maximum security prison is overcrowded and that is putting a strain on resources, including medicines for inmates that are living with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Among these female inmates are those living with HIV. Some say the shortage of ARV drugs is not the problem. But that's all there is, ARVs, for people living with HIV like me, but not drugs for opportunistic infections like amoxicillin or for STIs. We don't even have painkillers. So if those kids, children of inmates, fall sick, there's nothing to give them. Officials are saying things are tough out there, so there's nothing they can do. This prison doctor, Blessing Doroba, said the drug shortage can be traced back to the National Pharmaceutical Company, which he says has not supplied the prison hospital for some time now. He says as soon as that is addressed, HIV-positive inmates will have drugs to fight infections. Shannon Heda, the Deputy Executive Director of UNAIDS, said he came to Zimbabwe to see how it is helping vulnerable groups such as prison inmates and sex workers. Heda says Zimbabwe has a good track record on AIDS, noting that the country introduced a tax to help patients known as the AIDS levy back in the 1990s. But I think we all worldwide, and this includes Zimbabwe, what got us to this point in the response won't necessarily get us to the next level because what's left to do might be a little bit more complicated than what we did first. And so I think Zimbabwe uh, has the capacity to really accelerate, to meet the 2020 goals, to be a model of, uh, of the response. Zimbabwe's National AIDS Council says the country needs foreign currency to import medications. I think the shortage has been the, uh, the, the, short, the, the uh, shortage of foreign currency. I think we do have the AIDS levy, um, um, and it is sufficient to cover the gap that we require. But um, we obviously have not accessed uh, the, uh, the foreign currency that we require um, to import the medicines. The lack of foreign currency has also made the country unable to import basic needs like food and fuel. Earlier this week, the country's health minister said Harare has begun receiving drugs from countries like India, which donated drugs worth a quarter of a million dollars. That might ease the problem of shortages for prisoners with HIV who can't work to buy medicine on their own. Columbus Mavunga for VOA News, Harare.